judge on the North Carolina Court of Appeals. I want to start by saying thank you. In 2016, the voters of Chatham County delivered 16,000, more than 16,000 votes to my campaign. Across the state, we received over 2.2 million votes and won a seat on the North Carolina Court of Appeals. Thanks to your work standing out at the polls, handing out the conservative judges cards, making phone calls, standing in the rain, doing all of those things that are necessary to make statewide candidates su successful, you did it and you allowed me to serve the state in a very special way. So thank you very much. I want to talk, how many of you heard that uh, super majorities in the General Assembly were a bad thing? Right, super majorities bad. Anybody hear that? Right. There's a six to one Democrat supermajority on the North Carolina Supreme Court right now, right? So the thumbs on the scales of justice are tilted six to one towards the Democrats. If we win all three of these elections, uh, both Justice Newby, Senator Berenger, and myself, if we ran, win all three of those, it's still four to three, right? We're still in the minority, but what does that do to the scales of justice, right? It's a little more balanced. Right? So let's bring balance to the court. Now, why is that important? If you look at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Institute for Legal Reform in their most recent survey of business owners and general counsel, North Carolina was ranked 33rd in business litigation climate. 33rd. In 2015, we were ranked 7th. So what happened from 2015 to now to change that? Right? Every decision made in courts have an impact, have an economic impact on individuals, on businesses and communities. And judges, courts make decisions uh, about permitting issues, enforcement of contract rights, protection of property rights, all of those things that are necessary for business owners to manage risk, for business owners to create wealth, and for business owners to create jobs. 85% of the people surveyed in, in the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Institute for Legal Reform uh, survey, 85% said these are the types of things that we make important business decisions on, that type of information. So how do, how do the business owners, how does the business community view the litigation climate, view the business climate in North Carolina with a 7-0 Supreme Court? How does the business community view the litigation climate and the job creation climate in North Carolina with balance? Right? If you want judges who are tethered to the Constitution, if you want judges who understand the importance of the rule of law, we need your help. My name is Phil Berger, Jr. I'm a judge on the North Carolina Court of Appeals. I'm a candidate for the North Carolina Supreme Court. Let's give North Carolina Supreme Court that the business community and our citizens can be proud of. Thank you.